we've done a lot with Taylor series, let's look at some ways that we can actually use them. And we'll start by looking at evaluating limits. And limits are a very important use for Taylor series. So let's just start to look at some examples. For our first example, we'll look at the limit as x goes to 0 of x squared plus 2 cosine x minus 2 over 5x to the fourth. If we try to stick in 0 directly, we will get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form. So we absolutely could use L'Hopital's rule. However, this is going to require multiple applications of L'Hopital's rule. So instead, we're going to use the Maclaurin series for cosine x. As a reminder, the Maclaurin series for cosine looks like 1 minus x squared over 2 plus x to the 4th over 24 minus x to the 6th over 720, etc. So we're going to substitute this into our limit. So instead, I have the limit as x goes to 0 of x squared plus 2 times this Maclaurin series minus 2 over 5x to the 4th. I can then go ahead and distribute my 2. And when I do, I get the limit as x goes to 0 of x squared plus 2 minus x squared plus x to the 4th over 12 minus x to the 6th over 360, etc. minus 2, all over 5x to the 4th. I can now see that I have a plus 2 and a minus 2, as well as an x squared and a minus x squared. Simplifying that then gives me the limit as x goes to 0 of x to the 4th over 12 minus x to the 6th over 360, etc., all over 5x to the 4th. From there, I can start simplifying my fractions. When I do that, I'm left with the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 over 60 minus x squared over 1800 plus some other stuff that has an increasing power of x over a number. As x goes to 0, all of the fractions but the first one are going to go to 0 as well. Therefore, I have that my limit is just 1 over 60. The next one I want to look at is the fact that the limit of x goes to 0 of sine of x over x is equal to 1. This is given to us early on in calculus as one of the most fundamental limits. So let's try to use Taylor series to show that this is true. As a reminder, the Maclaurin series for sine of x is x minus 1 6 x cubed plus 1 over 120 x to the fifth minus 1 over 50 40 x to the seventh, etc. So let's substitute this into my limit. So now I have the limit as x goes to 0 of this Maclaurin series over x. And once again, we can go ahead and simplify this fraction. So once again, I have the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 minus 1 6 x squared plus 1 over 20 x to the 4th minus 1 over 50 40 x to the 6th, etc. As I stick in 0 for x, everything but my first term is just going to go to 0. Therefore, this limit must be equal to 1. The next one I want to look at is the limit as x goes to infinity of 6x to the 5th sine of 1 over x minus 6x to the 4th plus x squared. On my previous examples, I looked at the Maclaurin series of either sine or cosine, but that's because my limit was taken as x goes to 0. Whenever I do these, the center of my Taylor series needs to be whatever I'm taking the limit to. However, I can't do a Taylor series around infinity. So instead, I need to make a slight adjustment. I'm going to change all of my x's to 1 over y as a basic substitution. And when I do that, x going to infinity is going to be the same as y going to 0 from the right. So by doing this, I can change up my limit a little bit. That then gives me the limit as y goes to 0 from the right of 6 sine y over y to the 5th minus 6 over y to the 4th plus 1 over y squared. I can then find a common denominator to get the limit as y goes to 0 from the right 
of 6 sine y minus 6y plus y cubed over y to the fifth. So from there, I'm actually going to substitute in my Maclaurin series for sine. That then gives me the limit as y goes to 0 from the right of 6 times y minus y cubed over 6 plus y to the fifth over 120 minus y to the seventh over 50, 40, etc. Minus 6y plus y cubed all over y to the fifth. I can then multiply through by 6, and then I can notice I have on the top I have a 6y minus 6y and a negative y cubed plus y cubed. Once I simplify the, that cancellation, I can start to deal with my fractions and canceling my y to the fifths. I then have the limit as y goes to 0 from the right of 1 over 20 minus y squared over 840 plus and minus some other terms that have increasing powers of y on the top and numbers on the bottom. So when I stick in 0, everything but the first fraction is going to go to 0. And I get that my limit is 1 over 20.